Plan the year ahead easily with knowledge from the future. Glimpse your future with this easy 12-month tarot spread. Know the perfect time to plan your vacations and social events. This tarot spread is shaped like a clock, every hour representing a month of the year. Detailed instructions are in the description below. I use this tarot spread to easily see my energy for the year ahead, as well as using it to divine specific goals like finance or travel. Follow along with me as I glimpse my personal best travel month and look for my next upcoming videos, an annual reading for my energy of the next 12 months, and a birthday reading for my best friend. Let's get started. I'm going to ask the cards to please choose for me a major arcana card that will represent me for this reading. So we're just going to shuffle and we'll see what it says. Oh, okay. I can only have one card. So, but let me just see what they are. Strength and the star. Oh, I want to be the star. Me as a traveler. Who am I? <laughs> we can do it. Just one card. Show everybody that we can just pull one. And I want the card upright. I'm going to read it upright. <gasps> one card. And it's the star. It's the one that I wanted. Now I'm going to add these cards, the rest of the major arcana to the minor arcana. Now we're going to give it a really good shuffle. And to this deck, I would like to travel in the next 12 months. Please tell me which would be the best months to travel. I need 12 cards to represent each month of the year. And we can start with this month, which is August, that I will place in the 8th position of the clock. Ooh, okay, good. For the month of August. Oh. September. Let's just keep going. August, September, October. Okay. October. November. November. December. Travel. December is December. A good month. January. Winter. January. Still winter. Hmm. January. February. February, oh, March, just jump right out, April, oh, shoot, well, they both, April, May, June, and July, oh, June, <laughs> we'll make this nice in a minute, and July, July. Oh, oh, it flew far. All right. January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, December. This is me as the traveler represented by the star card. The star card is hope, direction, renewal, trust, belief, positivity, creativity, and inspiration, positivity, and rebirth. And it is a yes card. I am a traveler represented by Aquarius, which actually is really perfect because I am an Aquarius. So it absolutely knew that this was for me. I am starting with the month of August, the page of wands. I'm going to read every card upright. I already told the cards that that's what I was going to do. For August, the page of wands in regards to travel, this would probably be, you know, I'm just still thinking about it. I am kind of thinking about it. I don't have any dates yet, but I'm using my tools of tarot to see if I can get kind of a idea of how the next 12 months will be for me in regards to travel. So here we go. So definitely not August. August is probably just still in the planning stages. For September, <laughs> it's the king of pentacles got some money that'll be really good helpful for travel is to have money coming in i'm actually hoping to be traveling in these months and these months so we'll see what we get i like this money coming in ready to travel october it's the queen of wands wands are manifesting so these two cards are manifesting the trip november the page of pentacles to receiving more money king of pentacles this would probably be like established money coming in but page of pentacles be new money coming in is how i'm feeling that to be the ace of wands another manifesting card the gift is granted so it's probably definite the 
two of pentacles in January. Not bad. The world card. Ooh, for February. That's like luck. Good fortune. The page of swords in March. The moon in April. Ace of pentacles for May. Ooh, the nine of swords for June and July, the knight of wands. Okay, this is where I am right now. And to me, this is definitely me planning. Now I am looking to travel in late fall. And since I'm thinking about going to California, to Las Vegas, so new money coming in, this page of pentacles, might be the best time. And so that's November for me. I want more information about November just to verify that that is a really good month for my first trip. Will you give me any more information cards? Oh, I felt a whole bunch ready to pop out. Let's see. Ooh, a bunch of cards popped out. Let's see what they say. Eight of cups, the four of swords, and the five of swords. I mean, they are traveling. This is rest and relaxation, which is great. And then conflict, battles, fights, violent aggression. This one I don't like. So I've got two really good cards and a third one. So I'm just going to ask one more time to clarify. Just one card, please. Oh, oh, well, well, two cards just fell out. Oh, so it's a choice and then it's long-term success. Perseverance, rewards, harvest, planning, results, patience, hard work. And uh, two of swords is a choice. Hopefully it's an easy choice. Anything else for the potential trip in November? Oh, got another two cards. Well, I love generosity, shared well, giving and receiving, prosperity, financial support and stability, and then self-reflection. <laughs> with the hermit. So again, it's about decisions and we've got pentacles, which is money. I'm just going to say that's probably a good time for me to go. I'll be fine. It's great. And then for my other trip with my family, we're going to Asia. So I'm thinking the world card right here is very obvious to go in February. But uh, any other advice for going in February? Asia. Oh, okay. Oh, these are two really good cards. The Six of Cups and the Fool card. The Fool card definitely just adventure and playful, innocent, carefree children because I am going with my family. They're not little kids anymore, but it still looks lovely. Like we're going to have a great time. So this is for my travel reading. Definitely the two months. I wasn't expecting this month. I was thinking this month. So now I know better. They're yes cards. They're all yes cards. Isn't this fun how these cards say yes, yes, yes. Yes. That's a maybe. Yes. This one's a no. <laughs> that one's a yes. This one's a no. There's some fun attributes on this these cards. So I hope that you guys could just really see it very clearly. This is also one of the smaller size card decks that I have just because it's such a large <laughs> spread. I hope this was really fun and I truly hope this will be helpful for you. The rest of my year as I look the next 12 months, the King of Pentacles looks great. I love that money's coming in. The Queen of Wands, she's manifesting, so that's good. The Ace of Wands coming in at December, another opportunity, expansion. The Two of Pentacles, trying to find balance in my work life and my travel life. So that's going to come up right here to make sure that I'm all got everything squared away to go on my trip. The page of swords is new ideas. So I'm probably going to be coming back with inspiration from that trip. The moon card will <laughs> probably be just too much in my head thinking about everything that I came back with and what I'm going to do with these new ideas. And then another uh, blessing, ace of pentacles, more money coming in. And this is probably a freak out about what to do next. And then the Knight of Wands has me charging off with new manifestation, a new adventure. I really hope you enjoy it and um, please share it. Please try it and let me know in the comments if it works for you. And if you have any questions about the tarot and what they all mean, please check out my video right here and I will see you in the next one. Bye for now.